Well, we missed the most dramatic part of this, but when you find your porta potty like this, full of water, the toilets are all full of water, everything flooded, you will generally find one of these toilets stuck in the odd position, which somebody came out and did not fix. So, spring cartridge is gone in this one. When that happens, it sticks down, the valve stays on, fills them up. So we have to get in and fix the spring cartridge. We also got to dry these out, so I'll have to keep the doors propped open. Yeah, I didn't, uh, yeah. Fills all the toilets up because the water's going to reach the level of where that is. Equalize. So, that's what happens. You come in, you find the place flooded. Spring cartridge is gone, and there's some very tricky parts of the spring cartridge. We'll get into that. This, we're going to have to do something about it. Because it's not draining. I don't know if we can put a drain, because the tank's under there, so we tried to put holes in them before, but you got to be very careful about that. So, something for a uh, Sunday morning. So, the whole deal with that, uh, I'm going to put this so nobody can use it. Now, we used to just take the little arms and throw them over the side here, but oh, people are smarter than that, and they go, oh no, I'll just open that up and go on in there. So, using my uh, small screwdriver from the 6 in one Simply, I just did this. Lock that sucker. And put the bar at. Now oh, they can't get in it. You can deal with it when you want to. Oh, I've got to figure out how to get this thing bailed out now. Now this is rather impressive. There's like a half, three quarters of an inch of water on this floor. So, I think I just pulled this threshold. So, oh dear. Nope. We got a nice lip on it. So, I'm going to try to go over here and drill a hole in the corner. Because, because, I believe, let's clear the tank. So luckily it'll be out on the outside of that. Uh, check when you gotta outfit something for what it's not designed for. It's not designed to have water in it. Alright, yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay, I'm about to do a little uh, 3 8 inch hole in the corner of the threshold. Here, as opposed to trying to drill down into there because this has got several layers to it. And you know, so the tank's under there. So we'll see how this goes. It's draining pretty good now. We'll see what the level is. We have to do something else. It's probably the best we're going to be able to do get a squeegee or something and just leave this thing propped open. Like I saw. And let it dry out. It's supposed to be 79. Lovely mid November day. Alright. Let's see what else we can find. All right, this is the offending part. <clears throat> this is uh, called a spring cartridge. Our unit is a Portalisa Plus, manufactured by Jag Mobile Solutions, somewhere up in the north there. <clears throat> Our Dometic dealer. Dometic is basically an RV marine toilet manufacturer. Same thing goes in the porta potties. Spring cartridge. Let's go see where that goes. Okay, things are quiet this morning. Let's do the deed. Small of my six and one. That's how we unlock things here. Oh, good, look, it's not flooded. So. One tool you should use, you should only have to use this six and one. It's a quarter inch. And this is 
is relatively simple. First off, we shut off the water. So we're back here with the valve. Turn that off. Double check it. No water. Very good. Over here, this is a cover plate which has got in it. Little prongies. It's got one little slot on there that lines up. Somewhere along here. Well, we'll find it when we put it back together. Spring cartridge is up in there. Let's see what size that is. I think it's a quarter inch. There's these two screws right here. Nope, how about 5 sixteenths? Close enough. Let me park this one. Stand by while I it's going. You know what? I need some more light. I'm going to open this up and we shall put this in configuration. There we go. So, ouch. Take these two screws out. Stand by. Okay. Ouch. Me bashing my head on the toilet paper roll holder. Okay, that comes off. This is what turns the water on. And there's spring cartridges in here. Now I need a screwdriver. Conveniently the six in one has a screwdriver tip. I believe right down the center of this thing. Let's see. I think it's a screwdriver. So Phillips head screwdriver right down the center. Say that screw. The other two are gonna put new ones in because they come with the package. All right, the print cartridge comes out. That'll fall off. And inside here, you will see the part that's not there. It's usually broke more than that. Well, it's hard to see it. What happened to this one? Usually the spring is broken. Oh, look. Just fell out on myself. There's a part that's broken. That goes okay. So this one, the tail broke on the spring right down here. So without that, the spring just turns. So installing there are two very important things. One, you got to make sure this goes over the shaft properly. Make sure this thing's back up there. I'll show you. 
So it's going to go in a particular place. It goes on that shaft. But it's got to go... Make sure it goes all the way on the shaft. Sometimes that little spring won't be in the right place. It feels like it's okay. So, back with that. That's just going to kind of flop around there until you get this in here, right? So, that's going to go on. So it goes like this. That little ear is going to catch that. So when this pushes down or up, you can also push it up. And it'll activate the water. So if you'll see this little spot right here, that's where this goes. It has to go in there. Come on. So that either way you push this valve. When you push it down, it opens the valve. When you pick it up, it opens it. When you push it down, it opens the valve. When you push it up, all it does is actuate the water. So that's how you add water to the bowl. And you don't want to flush it. So this is going to go on there. And this has to go in the right place. Okay, so it's not going all the way in, so... So that's not right. It goes next to it like that. It doesn't go in the little slot. Alright, so. Now, the very most important thing is this screw screws into a little plastic tower. So when you screw this back in here, all you want to do is snug it up. Because if you over tighten it, you will snap the little plastic tower off and then you have to replace the entire valve assembly. The whole ball, everything. You gotta pull the toilet up. Change that whole ball assembly. The, actually, it's not the ball assembly. You have to change the whole bottom of the toilet. Because just that ball assembly that goes in here is really not available. So, got a little flop in there. Okay, this one, I don't think it's down all the way. And this will happen if you don't get it lined up properly, pushed in all the way. You try to tighten this thing up. And you snap that little tower off. So I think I'm probably going to have to, if it doesn't pull in real good, and you really can't force it. Now yeah, it's starting to get tight on there. I don't think it's in all the way. No, nope, it's going to flop around too much. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to take it back off, and I'm going to have to push it on that shaft all the way. Now let's see if I can just loosen it up and do it. I really can't. Yeah, I'm going to flop it around. I got two hands, I'm not gonna be able, I'm gonna have to do it with two hands, so I'll see if I can identify it, illustrate it as much as possible. Well, let's try to do it with that, with that one on there. Alright. Something gets in the way. And I don't know if you can see how far off that is. It's gotta go all the way back in. Yeah, let me monkey around with it in a minute. Okay, so what I ended up doing, these gloves are freaks you out. Grab the hold of this and wiggled it a little bit and pushed on this, and you'll see now there's no gap in there. So there it is. It's in there. See you see that square shaft? It's kind of hard to tell, but there's inside there is a square socket. That's what it has to go into. Otherwise, it's sitting on the outside of it. If you don't have it pushed all the way in and you try tightening that screw up, you're going to break that little tower. Ask me how I know. So, you 
go? I don't think so. Alright, I'm gonna do it again. I don't do these every day. Okay, so I was wrong about that. That goes in there, which is why I'm having trouble getting it to line up because I was sitting up on that shoulder up there. Actually, goes in that slot right there. I said that slot right there. So then, when you push down to flush it, and then when you push up, it's going to grab it and just turn the valve. So that's the way it's got to go. Let's try that in that position. Well, you can't really see anything, but that goes on there. I'm going to hold that together this time. Okay. Well, you put it in right, it goes in real easy. Ow. Paper towel, toilet paper roll holder. Okay. So you can tell because the you can't freely turn it back and forth once it's in there. Slop in it. So I'm going to tighten it just a wee bit more. All right, then you screw this back on with the new screws. Not that matters because they don't go bad. But now you got to make sure these go in the slots. This whole thing has got to be lined up goes through those two holes behind it into the back part of it. So sometimes you gotta wobble this back and forth until you get them. Back to the 516 cent. I suspect these are metric size. never did understand that. They build things in China, but they're supposed to be by American design. Why would they design them using metric hardware? And here in America, we don't use metric hardware. All right, so I'm gonna screw those back in. It'll be a lot easier with two hands. All right, tighten those up, and I believe those are in plastic too, so now, I've never actually watched this myself. There's the valve. There's just the water valve. So we'll turn the water back on. <clears throat> and that's the action. This is what you get. Wash it down. Pick it up for just water. And when they're new, when that seal's new, so this one's fairly new because I think, uh, I don't remember how long ago I replaced this one, but it'll actually hold water. This one, cover goes back on it. There, so right up here is a thingy 
and that goes in a little thing there. And you push that little finger in. Da da da. Back to our working toilet. All right, there you go. Spring cartridge replacement. The reason why it broke. Make sure. The very most important thing is the well, the two of them. Make sure that sucker is all the way down in that socket. And once you get it in there, you'll be able to tell. Because you'll, this thing will be, be feel like this. Once it's, if it's not in there, it's sitting on the outside, and you should be able to just flop this thing around. And then very careful about that center screw. Just snug it up. Otherwise, you snap it. You got to replace the entire bottom of the thing because the uh, individual parts, I don't believe, are available. So there you have it. We'll find something else broke. And if you're following along all the way through, the last step I did was to reinstall the threshold. Still got a little hole over here. I uh, had to take a broom. Uh, squeegee would have been nice and yesterday. And uh, as you can see today, it's two days later. This thing's completely dried out. We're ready to go for the next time it happens. And this thing floods out. All right.